Hello. Welcome to this video on product bundling. In this video, we will look at the process on how to bundle products through the SAP S4 HANA sales kits. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved. The goal of this video is to provide information on the selected functionality and process. We will start by examining the benefits to be achieved by using sales kits in your business. With sales kits, you will increase average order value. Also, the turnover will be increased through usage of attractive product bundles. And thirdly, you will stand out from competitors with unique offers through competitive bundles. A few key words. Product bundles are several individual goods or services that are sold to consumers as one combined package. Sometimes called package deals, product bundles are generally made up of complementary items or, less frequently, similar items. A bill of material is a list of the products and the quantities of each included in the product bundle. A sales bomb may generate reservations for components in the bill of materials that are in stock and purchase requisitions for components that are not in stock. A planned independent requirement, also known as PER, represents a forecast at a specific location for a material in for a specific time period that is not linked to a specific sales order in advance. Once actual sales orders are received, the forecast is consumed by the sales orders. Let's discuss the concept. Companies often bundle products, while also selling the same products independently. The first method to use for sales kits puts the pricing, delivery execution, billing and reporting on the item number which represents the sales kit. The second method puts it on each line item. This is useful in scenarios where the items have different VAT, or export and import tariffs. Our scenario is the following. We have three products, which are planned according to forecast. These jocks kit 10, jocks kit 11 and jocks kit 12. We will look at the planned independent requirements, and we will post two separate sales orders. One sales order will be for a kit, one sales order will be for a single product. We will then review how the sales interacts with the forecasted quantities. In our first demo scenario, we start off with reviewing the forecast values. The planned independent requirement values represent forecast values, or the consensus demand, which can be managed in SAP integrated business planning. In our example, we are changing the previous monthly forecasted values due to changes in the market conditions. These planned independent requirements is a combined forecast, both for individual sales and sales as part of a kit for the item. Next up, we create a sales order. This sales order can also be integrated from C4 HANA. We enter the customer number, customer reference and the reference date. The sales order is created with the top item, which will be explode with the items. The pricing and delivery execution will take place on the item level. Having the pricing on the is useful, particularly in export scenarios, as each item will carry its own export codes. Next we will check how the forecasted value of 300 pieces has changed, when the product bundle sales order has been entered in the system. We check the material situation of one of the items inside the product bundle, from the previous sales order. Our sales order of the quantity of 30, has consumed 30 pieces of our forecast, as can be seen we have only 270 pieces worth of forecast left. Creating the outbound delivery will be next step. The three items contained in the product bundle are present in the outbound delivery. We save the delivery document. We make a simplified pick for the outbound delivery. Instead of having the picking operations performed in extended warehouse management, we enter the pick quantities manually. As soon as the sales bundles has left the premises, we post goods issue. The last step in the sales process is to create the customer invoice, also known as the billing document. We mark our sales order and press the create button. The invoice type and invoice date are selected manually, for demonstration purposes. Each of the three items have priced separately for billing document, which contains the net value, total amount and taxes. Complete details of the pricing can be found, for each item within the product bundle. We will now go back the billing overview for the sales document. Upon saving it, we will also be able to view the document flow. In our next scenario, we will look at how a sales order with a single item will consume the same forecasted quantities. First, we look at the planning situation of one of the materials which we will deliver to our customer. The forecast for July is 270 pieces to be sold, both for kits and as individual SKU. Next, we create a new sales order. 
As usual, we first enter the customer data and customer reference to the sales order. The items which are sold as kits can also be bought separately by the customer. Each of the items which belonged in the kit, in the previous example, entered into the sales order. When the items are bought separately the prices will be higher, as the discount from buying the items as a kit no longer applies. Finally, we look at the monitor material coverage app again, and as a final step we will look at the forecast consumption related to planning. The sales order for the individual item, has reduced the forecast with its quantity, and hence the forecast for July is now 270. The functionality shown in this video, regarding sales order kits, is available in S4 HANA, both cloud and on-premise versions. The same functionality is available also in ECC, although screen layout may differ. Let us complete this video, by repeating the benefits of using sales order kits. With sales kits, you will increase average order value. Also, the turnover will be increased, through usage of attractive product bundles. And thirdly, you will stand out from competitors with unique offers through competitive bundles. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.